Hi lovelies, it's your girl Adiella and you're welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are good. Yeah, you're welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is Adiola. I'm all into makeup and beauty and um, yeah, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that would be wonderful. Click the notification bell so you know when I upload a video and um, yeah, at uh, the end of this video, if you can like it, that would be lovely as well. So today I just wanted to have like a little chit chat with you. I had this little list that I wanted to share with you of um, makeup and trends that I don't fancy, that are not to my liking, that kind of like my pet peeve. So um, yeah, if you want to hear about it, please stick around. So I have this little list of makeups that I do not like to use. As you know, I am... I love everything makeup but there are some makeup that I cannot be bothered with first of all I'm gonna start with loose glitter or anything loose for that matter except loose powder loose glitter loose highlighter definitely not from I cannot stand the highlight anything you know glittery that is loose I hate seeing specks of glitter on my face or when I do the highlight if it's a loose highlighter and all the highlight going everywhere Ugh. It, is, it does stress me out when I see the glitter and I think um, also the the stress of having to mix the glitter and then put it on my face and then wiping it off. I'm a very lazy makeup artist. I cannot be bothered with things like this. I've had these for a while now. They never ever get used. I mean, they get used maybe for dramatic look once in like six months or once a year. But other than that, nah. The other thing I don't really, really, you know, care for is single eyeshadows. Single eyeshadows. Um, I've recently just got this. I have maybe like a handful of them. I never ever get to use them. I prefer palettes just because I can see all the colors that I want to use in there. I can do a variety of looks, you know, just looking at the palette. But with single eyeshadows, I have to open them. You know, I have to think about what color I'm going to use next and open them. So for me, it's just too much. It's just too much. I mean, I have the odd few, but it's not something that I look into, you know, when I'm buying makeup. Definitely not. Another thing is... Um, face palettes face palettes highlighter palettes you know face palettes definitely the reason why is because say i have this whole palette and i've got the powder in there i've got the highlighter i've got the blush one is going to finish before the other i'm definitely going to probably use the powder more than the other one and that's going to finish and it's going to stress me out seeing an empty gap and i have feel obliged to have to fill it up you know so and i can't really really if there's a a gap in this i can't use it anymore i feel i feel like it's redundant to me so i don't really really like things like that i don't like face palette, like highlighter palettes maybe two of them would definitely not be my shade except maybe i'm using it for a client or something like that i just don't like them I, they're just not my cup of tea another thing i cannot be bothered with is face like painting like um you know like or any kind of face paint i cannot do it on my face not for my face not because i can't do it but just the thought of having like different colors on my face it's just not for me i just cannot you know I, I feel like makeup that i cannot wear outside i just for me it's just not not for me i don't know how people do it i mean i credit all the amazing makeup artists that paint on their faces and do dramatic art i can do lip art i can do like eye art but anything that goes beyond here and beyond here or maybe even beyond here even on my nose ugh. so i've never ever done the freckle trend you know put freckles on my face oh i just can't i just can't or maybe do halloween makeup can't even do not that i can't do it not that i haven't got the talent to do it or haven't got the skill I just do not like things on my face. Oh, colors like that, like, you know, proper painting or like drawing like a tiger on my face. It's just, just cringe for me. You know, I, I mean, I, I do admire it when I see it on people, but definitely not on my face. If I ever went, wanted to do face paint or anything like that, you can do it on my arm or maybe, you know, my leg or something like that. But anything other than that, nah, nah, not for me. Definitely not. Um, yeah. Um, also, SFX, SFX makeup special effects makeup oh. when i see them on on my instagram or maybe there are people who that is their specialty or that is their you know their niche i can't i can't even look at it like it's so gory to me i cannot even look at it i just quickly scroll back Ooh, i can't do it i just i don't like it seeing it i mean they're just some really really amazing artists that make it so real and so believable but i cannot even look at it i'm so cringe oh my god i'm so cringe why am I like this? And I'm a makeup artist. But yeah, that's that's another thing I, I, I can't do. 
then another thing I, I can't really be bothered with are all these different brow trends I mean I like the bushy brow trend is it bushy brow or the fine brow trend that we're doing now like I really really do like it or any other thing like that I've tried the slash brow trend I did it for a couple of little not for my not my cup of tea or, or the zigzag brow twin let's just leave the brows alone let them be i mean they're just as beautiful as they are you know let's just make them look full and everything but yeah just let's leave the brows alone please um and uh, something else i don't like is cocktail makeup what do i mean by cocktail makeup when people like to mix makeup together and then put it on their face i believe that makeup should be layered so all that i know there are different kind of hacks now people some people do swear by it but definitely it's not something that i will be doing like when people say you mix your primer and your foundation if they were meant to be together they would come like that you know i just think it's better to layer your makeup as you want it then to mix everything together and just whack it all on your face i just don't feel it's effective you know i don't feel it's effective enough to be fair in my opinion i mean some people do swear by it but yeah another thing i don't like is putting hair products on your face you know i used to hear some people who used to put hairspray on their face to set their makeup what those products are not made for the face your face is sensitive you know or even when people use um things like um uh what's it called like got to be on the brows i won't do it i just won't do it i just won't do it maybe i will try it oh, i just won't do it i just can't do i just feel like if it's hair products let it be for the hair you know like on the head but i guess it's just me really i guess it's just me but yeah i'm also not the biggest fan of glossy lips i've got a bit of gloss on my lips um today but not for every day just for some looks yeah but i mean i'm more of a matte kind of makeup person also i'm not the biggest fan of dewy looks i like them for some looks but i'm more of i'm, a, I'm definitely a matte girl just because i my i've got huge pores around my nose area i could not do dewy looks uh i couldn't use some dewy foundation because they would definitely break up on my nose my nose is you know yeah but i mean i like a proper matte make up the way you've seen it like this i do like the dewy effect every now and then but definitely not my go-to and glossy lips definitely not my go-to just because you know i like my makeup to my lipstick to stay all day and i am a lipstick person you know i have tons and tons of lipstick but i do like a matte lip that is that's just for me yeah definitely that's mine um this i'm probably gonna get a little bit of um um maybe a bit of hate for or maybe um what they call it for it but i don't like makeup and beard oh my god i'm so sorry i don't want to offend anyone i think the guys that do the makeup are absolutely amazing but oh, i prefer the makeup on the guys who haven't got a beard my husband's got a beard i can't i don't I, it's not it's not my favorite part of his thing but i've got used to it but i don't i don't really like i don't really like facial hair that much as well and to now have makeup on top of it nah not for me just n not for me i think the guys that do it they're absolutely talented well, i just feel like the facial hair is in the way i feel maybe it takes away from the makeup it's just the way i'm looking at it i prefer if you know the face was properly shaved my the makeup goes all over the face and i can see all the definition every everywhere i just feel the beard is you know for me it's a distraction you know that's just that's just me no shade to anybody no shade to anybody i just prefer makeup on clean shaven face you know get what i'm saying yeah that it's just my preference really also bottom lashes i will like to try the bottom lashes you know i will like to try it one day but i never get around to it that's just something i don't do just because it's just extra time for me to do that but one day one day i'll probably try that in one of my looks but it's just not something some people are so good with it in all their looks they do doing the bottom lashes i would love to one day the last thing that i do not care for is baby hair baby hair is my absolute pet p i wear wigs all the time but you will never see me have that babe never never i cannot stand the idea of something on my on my on my face like i told you i have something there's something about my face you know there's just something with about me and my face i do not like anything creeping on here i cannot stand it 
you know when my sister used to make me wigs or you know she'd say oh should i do baby hair no don't don't just leave the hair as it is you can see if you look in any of my pictures you will never see me do any of that just because i just don't like it. i just don't like anything touching my face i can't stand it I just can't study. Oh yeah, so yeah, that is that is everything that I, I can think of at the moment. Yeah, if there's anything else, maybe I'll put it in the in the comments or something like that. But yeah, that is everything I can think of at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment what your pet peeves are or kind of makeup that you don't use or you don't like to use. Just comment um comment um comment. Let's interact, yeah. Yeah, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.